for the sign of Leo, hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember the bottom cards are paired with the top cards. Are we going through the past, present, challenge, and outcome? So, Leos, in the recent past, we start with the lover's card. Now, the lover's card is associated with the astrological sign of Gemini, the twins. It's possible when this card appears in the reading that you're feeling or you were feeling ambivalent about a relationship or a situation in your life. Now, it could be that your heart was telling you one thing and your head was saying another. Now, overall, the thing to do or, or that you did in the past was to follow your heart. Now, some people say there are only two modes that any of us are operating under at any time, and that's either fear or love. So, when you can, you made sure to choose love, or love was what you should have chosen at that time. And now we have this card paired with a temperance card. Now, the temperance card... Although, in general, all your relationships were likely to be going quite well for you at that time. Now, you may have needed to look at your deeper personal issues and see if or how these were standing in your way somehow. And if they were, how to work through them and to integrate them. Now, the ideal then was to do what it took to find balance in yourself and in your relationships and also with your goals and aspirations. Okay, so that would have been the past and now we move on to the present. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Now, the Ten of Pentacles pretty much says that you had a great deal to be thankful for, or you have a great deal to be thankful for. Now, relationships of all kinds, such as finance, health, and all matters should be going well for you now. So consider how you got to that happy situation, make the best of it, and be sure to share what you have. Even if it's only a kind word that you say to someone, who you think needs it because you have to you have to remember that we get back what we give out and this card is paired with the two of swords so the two of swords it tells us that your partnerships your friendships are more than likely to be going at least somewhat well now whether these are friendships romantic or business they're going well or somewhat well. So however, you should consider the depths of your commitment to equality in these and whether or, or not you are being treated as an equal by your partners. So if you are not, it may be time to bring these things back into balance. Because basically this will almost certainly require open communication on your part. Nothing changes without making an effort. And with these two cards paired together, the Ten of Pentacles, it says that at this time you have a, a whole lot to be thankful for. And it's paired with the Two of Swords which is about partnerships, friendships, and romance. And you just need to consider the depths and the equality of the relationships that you have in your life and whether or not you are being treated as an equal by your partners and friendships. And that will be in the present. And now we move on to the challenge. We have the Three of Swords. 
Now, the Three of Swords, although there is an element of sorrow that is undeniable when this card appears in a reading, what lies on the other side of the sorrow can be enhanced understanding and joy. So keep that in mind. So allow yourself to fully experience any sorrow or pain that comes up now. You'll need to do this so that you can move above and beyond it. So overall, this card can point to a very deep emotional issue or issues that must be addressed before you can move on to anything new or anything better. So keep in mind that if you deny the pain, it won't make it go away. So make sure to allow yourself to experience any pain that comes up now, but don't wallow in it. Because you do not and you should not wallow in grief or sorrow for a long period of time. However, only you can decide how long is long enough? Others will not be able to, to decide that for you. And then we have this paired with the Queen of Cups, which usually indicates a woman. Now this woman should be very helpful to you at this time. The Queen reminds us to bring love and compassion to our work and that this is possible even if we work in a factory with objects all day rather than people. Now things are probably better in your working world when this card appears than you are realizing. So you need to think positively. And it doesn't have to be work, it could be your home, your family life, it could possibly be a relationship also. So with these two cards paired together, the Three of Swords is just letting you know that you may be experiencing some type of sorrow or pain or maybe some, maybe depression or just feeling blue um, for whatever reason. Um, maybe something happened that you um, need to deal with and it's saying deal with it but don't let it bring you down too long uh, because there's a female energy or female person, individual that's, that can be very helpful to you now. She's probably someone that you know and she'll help to remind you um, about love and compassion. And then that's going to be the challenge, and we move on to the outcome, which is the Knight of Swords. Now, the Knight of Swords, it actually brings a fairly upbeat and cheer cheerful energy. Now, the Knights can often mean that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out. Now, the, also the Knight of Swords, which is this card. Um, if you can see in the picture, I hope you can see the picture, um, it clearly shows, like I said, something, something, is about, something or someone is about to seek you out. And it points to your physical, emotional, and spiritual, it points to your physical, emotional, and spiritual energy being at a high peak. So if you're waiting for news from someone or something, you're more than likely to love to like what you're going to hear. Now this card, it also can point to lots of activities such as travel, being out and about, getting things accomplished. You're more than likely to feel like waiting. You're more, let me repeat that, you are more than unlikely, unlikely 
to feel like waiting for anything to come to you. Now keep in mind that's a very good thing because you're going to go after whatever your heart is de desiring at this time. And then we have the Seven of Cups paired with this card. Now it often indicates confusion and can even also point to disorganization and too much going on. So overall this card points to a need to narrow your focus. So when this card appears in a reading, you're probably trying to do too much and doing most of it not very well. So make sure to choose just a few of the migrate of the migrate choose I'm sorry just choose a few just choose a few things or a few of the important things that are on your plate work through these items one by one and carefully now you may be feeling overwhelmed but remember that you can control at least in some areas how much you are trying to take on and then with these two cards paired together uh, the knight of swords it's about something or someone desirable is about to seek you out okay and it's good it's in a good way or either it's something that you want to hear, something that you've been hoping to hear. And it's about getting things off, it's also about getting things accomplished. Okay, and then, then it's paired with the Seven of Cups, uh, which is stating that um, you just need to narrow your focus. So the things that you're trying to get accomplished with the Knight of Swords, uh, it, you may be trying to take on too much, so just narrow things down, prioritize, so that they're under control, so that you can get more things accomplished and you're not feeling so overwhelmed. And maybe this desirable person or event that's coming about, it'll help you to focus and bring things to fruition in a better, more organized way. I don't know if this is a person or just something or an event that's, that's, that you'll be happy to hear from, um, but it says something desirable is about to seek you out, so maybe that'll help you to narrow your focus. And that's gonna be the outcome. So Leo, I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. But then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you'd like to do. I thank you so very much for watching and have a great day. And have a great day. And have a great day.